let me turn to my other big story today because the Congress party has received another jolt, this time just five days ahead of the Punjab elections. Uh, senior Congress leader, former union minister in the Manmohan Singh government, Ashwini Kumar, today quit the party, ending a nearly five-decade-old association, he said, with the party. In his resignation letter, Mr. Kumar says that he is no longer... It is no longer possible for him to stay on in the party in the present situation. He says he can best serve national causes outside the Congress fold and seems to see an area of darkness around the Congress. Ashwini Kumar now joins me at this moment. Appreciate your joining us, uh, Mr. Ashwini Kumar. Your reasons for, jo for leaving the Congress party so suddenly seem mysterious just ahead of the Punjab polls. There's one buzz that you wanted your son to get a ticket from Punjab. Your son didn't get a ticket, you suddenly walk out of the party. Is that true? <laughs> Do you really believe that that would be the real reason? And in fact, the reason for my resignation has been clearly spelt out mm -hmm. in, the, in the letter to the Congress President, in which I've said that consistent with my dignity and the value that I attach to myself as a senior Congress person with undisputed loyalty for 46 years to the party, I can no longer contribute mm -hmm. to my optimal capacity to public causes, which I still want to do in these years of my life. And as far as the time... So it has, it, has, it, has, it, has, so it has nothing to do, it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that your son apparently wanted a ticket and he was not given a ticket of his choice in Punjab. That's completely untrue, is it? My, my resignation has nothing to do with it. My son may have wanted to contest, that is his aspiration, that's another matter. But when I did not resign, yes. uh, the party, when I was unfairly asked to resign from the ministry, when I did not resign the part, uh, from the party, when my Rajya Sabha tenure mm -hmm. was not extended, when I did not resign from the party mm -hmm. in the worst of times for Mrs. Gandhi and stood like a rock with her, this could hardly be a reason for my, my quitting. And I'm telling you on record that is not so, the so reason what, for my quitting. So what, so what has suddenly number, changed? Yeah, well, so what well, has suddenly has been, changed that five days before the Punjab elections where you are not one of their star campaign, what has suddenly changed for Ashwini Kumar who's had this long association with the Congress, was a union minister in the Manmohan Singh government to suddenly say I want to get up and go? What suddenly changed? Not, Rajdeep, you started me on the television. Have you grown old? These things are not taken on an impulse. They are not sudden. These were brewing for the last several mm -hmm. months. In fact, I may say since the last three, four years, Congress was downhill. Mm -hmm. Senior Congress people were feeling ignored. They were dejected. They were oppressed. They were diminished. But they mm -hmm. still chose not to walk mm -hmm. the talk. I chose to walk the talk. And there is a time when things happen. And they happen just at this point of time because I couldn't take it anymore. The weight on my shoulders of the Congress seemed too heavy to carry. And when I saw the spectacle that the no, no, Congress that, made... But, but that seems a little strange. Party. No, but it seems a very... It, no, no, if you're, if you're feeling so suffocated for one year, you choose to resign just five days before Punjab elections, your home state, you should be instead perhaps campaigning in Gurdaspur. There are those who will say that you represent a generation who's got a lot out of the party, but hasn't given back enough to the party. <laughs> I got a ministership for four years and I've given 46 years of my life to the Congress party. Is it not enough? And, and do I have to compromise with a mm -hmm. sense of self-esteem for all times to come? Are you, are you kidding me, Rajdeep? Can you seriously hear what you are saying in your own ears? I am telling you... No, no, I... I, 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 I am telling yes. you... No, no, you may be telling me something which is, uh, which is uh, something extreme, but that's your privilege. But let me answer the way I want to answer. I think nothing could be farther from Please the do. truth. The fact remains that the spectacle that the Congress has made of itself in, the, in Punjab during the elections has expedited this decision. Mm -hmm. In fact, is the Congress fighting the opposition in Punjab or is it fighting itself? I've seen you relishing the food of Punjab for the last two days. And you are yourself saying that Aam mm -hmm. Admi Party is in the lead. Have you asked yourself why Aam Admi Party is in the lead? It is not in the lead because I have chosen to resign. It is in the lead because the mm -hmm. people have seen the spectacle that Congress has made of itself. The party of Mahatma Gandhi Wait. uses caste as, mm -hmm. a, as a consideration to catapult a very junior minister to the office of the chief minister only to get votes from the people. Is that, is that a principal stand of the Congress party? 
What was the principal stand? No, no. So I, no, no. So I, I, I so are you, I, I are you finished. taking on? I haven't finished. No, he, I haven't yeah, finished. Please finish. What was the okay, What was the reason mm -hmm. for for creating a controversy about uh, uh, the award given to Gulam Nabi Azad and the statue of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose? Many things have weighed on me and have been weighing for me for the last several several months, and that is the reason why I came to this difficult decision to part company with a party mm -hmm. to whom I have given 46 years of my life. My entire life has been given to am, this party. Am I to understand, am I to understand Mr. Ashwini Kumar from what you're saying that your primary problem is with Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, the decisions that they've taken because the decision to remove Captain Amrinder Singh, bring in uh, Mr. Channi were all decisions that reportedly were taken by the next generation of Gandhis. Is this in a way a generational battle that is being fought that you have a problem with Rahul Gandhi's style of functioning? Let's be open now. Let's be candid since you're being candid. Let's be clear. Who is it that is suffocating leaders like you? I am not going to relegate this debate to individuals. You know better than I and the whole nation knows who's running the Congress party. Why do, you want, why do you want me to state the obvious? I'm not going to do that. I've never named people. I have never ever criticized persons. That's been a part of a creed with me. Unless I'm provoked, I never ever criticize individuals. As far as the removal of Amrinder Singh was concerned, yes, he needn't be humiliated. He should not have been humiliated into resigning. I know as a matter of fact that one month before he was asked to resign, he had, he had asked Mrs. Gandhi to accept his resignation, but he was asked to continue. That is what he told me himself. So I have no reason to disbelieve him. And let me tell you, I was never a part of the inner circle of Captain Amrinder Singh. But the way he was shunted out of the Congress party does not behove the, the party. This is a party which claims of some dignity and decency and decorum in the conduct of politics. I mm -hmm. see that sliding. I see that finishing. And I did not want to associate myself with the party anymore. I have great what? personal respect for Sonia Gandhi and will continue to have respect for her mm -hmm. as a person. But I think the imprint of her judgment is now absent in the affairs of the Congress party. One final question. There's talk that you might switch to the BJP or even join the AAP if they do well in Punjab. You have plans to remain in active politics and is the BJP <laughs> now a real option? Well, why, why, do, why, why don't you think that I will get people to join me rather than asking me to join BJP or AAP? Because I, because I must be honest that most, most of you have never won election. No, no, let's be honest. Ashwini Kumar, you know, the, the fact is you're not a mass leader. You know, the critics will say Ashwini Kumar got the benefit of being in the Rajya Sabha courtesy his proximity to Manmohan Singh's family. Today, you are betraying that very family, of, which is i.e. the Congress. You're not a mass leader. All of you want to, in a way, gang up on the Congress ahead of a major election. Well, if you are trying to provoke me, you are, you are miserably failing, Rajdeep. You are failing yourself as an anchor. Let me tell you, I got into the Raj okay. not because of Dr. Manmohan Singh. I got into the Raj first time because of Sonia Gandhi. And I will always be beholden to her. But I have given my whole life to the party. And let me tell you, as far as contesting elections is concerned, if you don't know, you should have asked me before going on air on a, on, in a very presumptuous manner. I had requested Mrs. Gandhi time and again, over and over again, that I would like to contest Lok Sabha elections from Gurdaspur in 2009, in 2004, or every time. But the party's decision was that I should be in the Rajya Sabha. So don't test me on whether okay. I can win an election or not. The, lead, the top leaders of the Congress, okay. with all the power at their command, have lost elections. So let's not get there. You hardly know my political career. Okay. I was first made the Joint Secretary of the District Congress Committee by Indira Gandhi. And in 1986, the Organizing Secretary of the Punjab Pradesh Congress Committee by Rajiv Gandhi. And then by Mrs. Gandhi in various appointments in the party. So please get your facts right before you okay. start let giving me, out your let conclusions. Let me leave it there. Yeah, you need... You, you okay, let leave me it leave it there. It there. I, Okay, thanks very much, Ashwini Kumar. You've been, uh, you've made it clear that you've decided to break with the Congress. We don't know what your next move will be. We'll wait and see where that goes. But thank you so much for joining me here tonight on the news today.